if you're looking for some cheap Forza Horizon 4 credits, then check out 5mmo.com. I'll leave a link down below to their site in the description. You can get 10 million credits for less than £10. Use discount code HYRAX at checkout for 5% off. Okay, so welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be talking about Forza Horizon 4 leaks and wondering, do they sometimes do it on purpose to generate hype for the game, to generate excitement in the community, to get people talking about the game, to get YouTubers to make videos on the game? That's what it seems like, because with Forza Horizon 4, oh dear, oh dear, the leaks are just absolutely incredible. Pretty much had a full car this leak. Like what? Go back to Horizon 2 days, there'd be no chance you'd have got a full car list leak like a few months before the game or like a month or two before the game. No chance. We've also had screenshot leaks, I'll put a few screenshots on screen right now. They just do show the game like being really nice and put together and just generate more excitement because you look at the screenshot and you think, wow, I can play this game in a few weeks time. Now when I'm recording this now, it is the 6th of September 2018 and if you got the pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition then you get the game 28th of September but if not you get it October the 2nd so it's not that far away now is it? And that's the thing, Balls Rising 4, we know a lot about the game already don't we? I remember I was very excited for Forza Horizon 3 when it released back in 2016, but I hardly knew nothing about the game. So when I bought the game on the day it came out, or the second day it came out, something like that, I was really excited to play it. Everything was new to me, but with Forza Horizon 4, I feel we've seen a lot of the map already. I'll try not to see the map in these live streams and that, but it's kind of hard when you want to make videos on it as well, you've got to watch certain bits, you know what I mean. But Forza Horizon 4, yes, there's a lot more in the game compared to Horizon 3 Horizon 2, but the leaks are just incredible. I mean, the same goes for Call of Duty. I've heard people in the past, like, this past year, like, come to the conclusion that it is to generate hype and excitement for the game, to, ke to get people interested in the game, get people talking about it, and even just get people to pre-order it a bit and stuff like that. But stuff like a car list, I really don't think that should be leaked. I think the ex having the excitement of putting that game into your Xbox and then seeing the car list for the very first time, that is just something you can't like experience again. But like now you know a lot of the car list because you've seen it and or you've been to the AOL12gaming.com website and read it like I have for those videos I've made and yeah it does kind of spoil the game I suppose. We even had gameplay leaks recently, we've obviously seen a Ford Focus RS in the winter season going through the snow and I, I don't know how that get, got leaked but I've seen somewhere where it said it was leaked on the Microsoft Store, like how? How is that possible? I don't know if it's just me but I'd rather them not leak as much stuff, I don't mind the odd thing here and there but when you're leaking major things like gameplay, screenshots and mm, they're not too bad I don't mind, but the car list. Please just don't leak car lists, it's so annoying. Tell me in the comments what you think about all these big leaks, do you like them, would you do you like it when leaks, big leaks like this happen? Because I don't for stuff like that, because I want to buy the game for the first time and, right, and guys, see everything for the very first time once I bought the game, if you get what I'm saying, because I remember back in the day, like years ago now, when you you go to game or something, you pick up a game and you knew nothing about it, a brand new game, you knew nothing about it. Yeah, you get a little bit of information from websites here and there, but everything was brand new to you. There was no leaks, there was no such thing as leaks, like, how? But yeah, like I said, I'm not sure if it's just me that doesn't like the leaks. Kind of wish I didn't leak all this stuff really, especially in car list, because like I said, I want to just see the car list for the very first time. I was like that with Forza Motorsport 7, I, I knew nothing about the game really. And I just went on the car list and they got it, yeah. Because I think the word car list video is up on YouTube, but I didn't watch any of them because I wanted to just see it for the very first time. And I was like, oh my god, this game is amazing. The car list was pretty insane on Forza Motorsport 7. Something like over 750 cars. And I was just scrolling through the manufacturers. I was just blown away. I was like, oh my god, that's in the game. What? That's in the game. If I'm looking over here because my TV's over here, so that's why I'd be like, oh my god, that's in the game! Yeah, it was rather incredible, but with Forza Horizon 4, I don't think we could get that sense of, wow, that's in the game, because I, I know pretty much all the cars. I don't know, I'm like, off my heart, I can't list every car, now, all 450 cars, but yeah, you know what I mean? It's kind of a bit sad. 
So I'm going to end the video here before I start rambling on, but leave a like if you did enjoy. Tell me in the comments if you agree with me, and tell me what you think on racing game leaks. Subscribe if you're new around here for Forza Line 4 videos when the game comes out in the air. Good videos up until the end. I hope they're good. But thank you for watching. But until next time, guys, peace out. But I already know I'm gonna get it now, though.